So we met through pharmacy school. We knew who each other were, but like we were in different organizations together and stuff. So that's how we knew of each other, but we didn't really know each other. I always thought she was really good looking and just kept my eye out. But the more I saw her, the more I was like, okay, I'm just going to have to, I'm going to have to go for it. The only hang up was that he's one of my professor's kids, you know, that I like was in class with. (laughs) She actually didn't respond for a while and almost gave up. I'd reached out a few times. We talked back and forth. And I was like, all right, this is the last time. If it doesn't go anywhere, it's that it wasn't meant to be. No more after today, I'm done trying. Finally, you know, it was like, okay, I'll go ahead and go out with him. And we went to like the bark bar first where we had all of the dogs running around. So we got to meet my dog and it was like a good time. So that's kind of the evolution of our beginning. And then we started going on all our dates and here we are. She's honestly the most genuine person I've ever met in terms of just a good souled person who has the heart of gold who just loves everybody like their family. I felt that connection immediately with her even before we really got to know each other. And it was just, it was something special. It's kind of hard to describe. Like, I don't know if I could really put words to it, but after we went out the first time, I was like, I really feel something's different. I haven't felt this way about anybody before. She's perfect in every way. I mean, I don't like to say perfect about most things, but I mean, she is as close to perfect as you can get. She is a kind-hearted, genuine soul who I'm just blessed to call my wife. His heart and his love for like the people that are special to him, like if you are important in his life, he goes out of his way to make sure that you know it and goes above and beyond for you. And like, he'd be there for anybody that he cares about. And that is something that I think is just so beautiful. And he's really great at being able to like foster relationships with people. And that's something that I just adore and love about him. He just has the biggest heart and he's such a, like a servant heart, I guess you could say. And that's probably my favorite quality that he has. I'm so proud of you. And I'm so happy that you and Patrick found each other. And I wish you the best as you begin your new life together on this new phase on your journey. I love you. You take it emotional. <laughs> After our first date, I went home and they asked me how it was and I just, all I could say was, this one's different. And they were like, is that good different or bad different? I'm like, it's a good different. I love you guys. I can't quite pinpoint it yet, but then the next couple of times I was like, okay. And it was honestly a God thing. Like he was telling me that this is my person. Oh my God. So beautiful. <laughs> I'm proud not to cry. You're doing a bad job. Okay. I know it. <laughs> it wasn't an event. There wasn't like some crazy thing where I was like, okay, we're good. I knew. I knew immediately. I really did. I, I think she'd probably tell you the same thing too. I knew after, like this sounds so crazy, after our very first date. Just being around him, it was so effortless, and I had never met somebody that made me feel the way he did, and I had been on several dates with other people before, but there was just something about him. I remember coming home from that date, and I was like in my bathroom, and I was like tearing up because I just felt like I had met somebody so special. Oh my God. Oh, come here. Give me a hug. Oh my God, you look so beautiful, baby. I love you. And our relationship has just been so beautiful ever since. Like I've never lost that feeling. And so I don't know if it's like love at first sight, but for me, it really was like very instantaneous. And I was like, that's it. And I already knew she was who I needed to be with. Where to even begin, words never adequately express the extent of my love for you or just how excited I am to become your wife today. Yeah, I'm gonna cry. You are a true blessing from God. I honestly wouldn't be where I am today without you. You are my person and I can't wait to start a family with you and grow old together. God blessed me beyond measure when he put you in my life. I'm not gonna make it through this. You embrace me for all of my flaws and you push me to be a more godly man. Oh, this is actually really sweet. <laughs> I'm not going to cry. I thank him every day for bringing me someone who would constantly challenge me to be a better person, support me in all my ways. Patrick Claiborne Gurley, you were you were my rock, my best friend, my biggest supporter, the love of my life. There's no one more perfect for me than you. Jessica Page Gurley sounds damn good. I love you with every ounce of my soul. Here's to forever, babe. Love you mostest, Patty. You are my favorite. You are my person, my forever and ever. Can't wait to see my beautiful, wonderful bride. Even when I get frustrated with you, <laughs> leave spills on the counter, make meals with too many vegetables that I hate. There's not... <laughs> 
All jokes aside, thank you for loving me for me, even when I'm at my worst. I love you with all I have, Jesse. Dearly beloved, we are gathered together in the sight of God, in the face of this company, to join together Jessica and Patrick in the holy estate of matrimony. Patrick, Jessica, from this day forward, the date, November the 20th, will always have sacred and special meaning for both of you. It's the day you made vows to one another and God before family and friends to love and cherish one another forever. A successful marriage is a never-ending journey that two people take hand in hand with the love of God to shine upon them as a beacon in the difficult times and as a golden sunrise in the joyous times. Do you, Patrick, take Jessica to be your wife? I do. To live... (laughs) (laughs) Drop the gun. (laughs) That's a good sign that you're eager. I'm ready to go. I, Patrick, take you, Jessica. I, Patrick, take you, Jessica. To be my wedded wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until death we do part. Until death we do part. I, Jessica, take you, Patrick, to be my wedded husband. I, Jessica, take you, Patrick, to be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better or for worse. For richer. (laughs) For richer, for poor. (laughs) For richer or for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death we do part. Till death we do part. For as much as Jessica and Patrick have come together in front of you, their family and their friends, and by the promises and vows they have made to one another, I as an ordained minister in the Christian church, and by the power invested in me in the state of Arkansas, am proud to pronounce you husband and wife. Patrick, you may kiss your bride. May I introduce to you for the first time as husband and wife, the new Mr. and Mrs. Gurley. Riding on my bike with eyes closed I could name every girl that he took out So we go back all the way to sixth grade basketball. I've been around for all the boyfriends and Patrick is hands down the best one. Can you take me Back when we were just kids, we were scared of getting older. Yeah, there's no one knows you like they know you, but no one probably ever will. You can grow up, make new ones, but truth is, there's nothing like old friends. I'm sure we can all think back and reminisce on childhood friendships and often think, I wonder what so-and-so is up to today, and luckily I've never had to do that with Patrick. But it's easy to categorize a friend, but not a brother, because they're endless in their brotherly and eternal love. Patrick truly embodies that. So Patrick and Jess, you both embody incredible traits, humility, of course, humor, and sacrificial love. I still feel the windows down. Listen to Jimmy Eat World riding three wide on Blake's bench seat, yeah. My God, it's been ten years now. I would have his back tomorrow, and he'd still fight anyone who tried to touch me. Can you take me back where we were just kids? There's one of my favorite songs is by a guy named Ben Rector, and it's called Old Friends. And the lyrics of the chorus read, Can you take me back when we were just kids? 
who aren't scared of getting older because no one knows you like they know you and no one probably ever will. You can grow up, make new ones, but the truth is there's nothing like old friends because you can't make old friends. Those first two lines of the song represent how my family and I felt during the time that we met the Gurley family. We were going through an extremely difficult time as a family and had many fears about the future and how life would turn out. But spoiler alert, God always had a plan. But here comes the Gurley family and we are so grateful for them during this time and the gift of their friendship and eternal love. We were basically inseparable for our whole lives. If you know Pat, you know how special he is. And now he has been given one of the best blessings in Jess, who has incredible matchless qualities all of her own and a smile and a presence that can light up the room. You both make our lives so much better and cheers to many incredible years of marriage. We love you both. God bless you.